Hey CFL fans, Justin Dunk here with you and don't look now, it's already September. That means it's time for the first edition of the Central Scouting Bureau rankings, which highlights the top prospects available for the 2016 CFL draft. So let's get right to it with number 20 to 11. There's a lot of talented names in the back 10 and it's said to be a strong receiver class in 2016 and a couple names stick out to me here. Brett Blasco at number 18, the receiver out of Calgary. Great build for a CFL slot back and some say he's a cross between Andy Fantuz and Chris Getzlaff but faster. Then at number 12, Levi Noel who was at Toronto but then became academically ineligible. He's now playing junior football for the Windsor AKO Fratman. This guy is a freak on the football field. He ran a 44940 at the 2015 East West Bowl and is a guy that could definitely surge up the board. So with that said, let's get to the top 10 in the Central Scouting Bureau rankings. Coming in at number 10 is Charles Valancourt, the offensive lineman from Laval. He's an enormous man who can maul along the line of scrimmage. Some scouts have compared him to Ticats offensive lineman Peter Dijakowski at number nine. Mehdi Abdesmad, the defensive lineman from Boston College. He's had an impressive career with the Golden Eagles. Back in 2013, he had a career high seven tackles and a sack against the USC Trojans. At number eight, Mitchell Winters, a defensive lineman from Miami of Ohio. That's where Big Ben went to school, if you're wondering. He started 12 games in 2014 and registered 37 tackles. Next up, at number seven, Dylan Guy, the offensive lineman from Buffalo. He was granted a medical redshirt year in 2014, so he was originally in the 2015 draft, but now he's in 2016, a stud offensive line prospect. Speaking of stud offensive line prospects, at number six, Josiah St. John, the hulking tackle from the Oklahoma Sooners. This guy is huge. Scouts love his ability. Now we get in the top five with Mercer Timmis, the running back from Calgary. He reminds some scouts of Jesse Lumsden and even is said to be just a bit more elusive than Lumsden, but he runs a little high, needs to work on his top end speed to keep moving up the rankings. At number four, his teammate, Eli Buka, the defensive back from Calgary, impressive athlete in the secondary. He can run, he's a legit 4-4-40 type speed athlete in the back end. At number three, Arjun Colhoun, the defensive back from Michigan State. He's competing for the starting role vacated by Trey Waynes, who was taken in the first round of the 2015 NFL Draft by the Minnesota Vikings. So that gives you an idea of Colhoun's type of talent. At number two, big defensive lineman David Onyemata from Manitoba. This guy is freakishly athletic for his size. He had a 29-inch vertical and a 9.5-foot broad jump at the 2015 CIS East West Bowl. And you can bet those numbers will only improve over time. And finally, at number one, it's Tavon Smith, the receiver from Iowa. This guy set the one-handed catch record before Andy Fantuz broke it, and he is a stud at the receiver position. He led the Hawkeyes with 596 yards on 43 receptions in 2014, and he looks to have a big season in 2015. Quite a talented group on the September edition of the Scouting Bureau rankings. You're going to want to keep an eye on these guys as the season progresses to see who moves up and down the board. For CFL.ca, I'm Justin Dunk.